best place to find an apartment if you are looking to get an apartment with your CPN is apartments.com, zillow.com. They're CPN friends. After you set up your CPN, which takes about 12 to 14 days, and by setting up, I mean try merging and adding public records. And about public records, make sure to do as many as you can. And about try merging, make sure you apply for the credit card and get denied. Do not click on pre-approval. I see many people, they click on pre-approval and that doesn't create the profiles they need, okay? So once 12 to 14 days passes, you get your credit monitoring. Once you get your credit monitoring, then you get the first credit card. 30 days after you get the first credit card, you're going to see the score on your CPM, okay? And it's going to be around 670, 680. And once you make one to two payments, it's going to go over 720, okay? Now, once you get the first credit card, you're going to start shopping for trade lines. And when it comes to trade lines, you need to do your due diligence. Make sure to do your research about the company you're getting it from. There's so many scams out there. Okay, and the best thing to do is look around and see if you have any relative, any family member, any friends who have good credit so they can add you on their credit for free because trade lines are not so cheap, okay? So you, you can use their reputation and get the credit you need, okay? But back to the subject. <clears throat> Once you add the trade lines, the history and everything like that, your credit is going to be built. But as far as getting an apartment, okay? As far as getting an apartment, the best place to get your apartment and look for it is apartments.com and zillow.com. Okay, they are CPN friendly, basically. So once you try merge and add public records, which takes 12 to 14 days, and after you get the first credit card, you apply for it. It's when you are able to apply for the apartments. You don't need a score on your CP to be able to get the apartment, but you need the strong public records, okay? You don't need to score as long as it's a regular apartment. If it's a luxury apartment or if it's a house, that's when you need to have a credit score because uh, they, they want that history. And as far as the house, because usually houses are owned by a person and not leasing office, that's why they want to see a credit score, okay? When I say 12 to 14 days, it doesn't matter if you had felonies. It doesn't matter if you have horrible credit. It doesn't matter if you were evicted three weeks ago. Because it's a fresh profile, there is no negative information on it. You're going to be able to get that apartment with no problem, with the lowest deposit. Okay, so contact me, follow the page for more information about this. And let me know if you have any questions. God bless you.